Hey guys, it's Jamie here. I did say a few days ago that I was going to go through page design and layout for the Boho journal. First things I want to show you is how I've put the first signature together. This is actually going to be a journal with three signatures. So signature for beginners is a set of papers that go in one place, whether you're sewing them or putting them under elastic, however you're attaching them to your cover. I like junk journals to be vaguely junky. In other words, even if I have a huge set of digitals, I still like to add different papers to each signature. This is about the size paper I actually need for the journal. So you can already see that the next one is going to be too big. The next piece I have is just from a magazine and it's gemstones. Because that is going to be too big, something I will do with this page immediately is to cut a slit here up to the picture. I'm going to cut slightly that way and then a similar that way. And on this edge, what I have created here in this page which will now sit further down so it will fit the journal is a couple of tuck spots or pockets. The next page was a digital that I deliberately cut down. The reason I did that is I like different levels. So I like it when you flick through and you have different edges or different levels of papers. The next piece we have is book page. It's quite thin. We can, again, use this to create some kind of tuck spot. We can come up on this side, on this side only, seal down that edge. Notice when I received this, this was some happy mail. It was already torn and I'm leaving those tears in. The next page is a digital, so there's nothing to alter at the moment with that. The next one is from a book, has the Taj Mahal picture in it. This will be decorated, that's a digital and it's an airmail. Here is another magazine page, this is of rugs, a digital that's been cut down. This is scrapbook paper, it's too wide on both sides therefore we will make some pockets from the page itself. I think I might quite like to do some deep pockets and make this actually quite narrow. Scored along that side. That makes a much smaller page. On every single page now, I want to make sure that it's burnished properly all the creases are sharp. I'm not sure if you're aware, but I am mixed race Indian. I was going to give Boho an Indian twist because the original travelers are from Northern India and they migrated across Europe. I have this sari trim. With some silicone glue, I'm going to place it along the edge of this piece of paper. If you're worried about the seal, it's worth putting a weight while it dries. This is now secure and glued down. When you turn the page over, this is now heavy and a bit lumpy for writing on. I've taken a digital that I've printed on both sides and I've printed it with a pattern that it doesn't matter which way you put it on the page. So no writing, no figures on it and I've folded it so that the top of the envelope will have this beautiful border and that the actual envelope is short of the top by about a centimetre, half an inch, maybe that's a centimetre and a half. I don't measure, so you can see that gap. You can see what's happening here. That bit's been folded in half and would drop open. Because it drops open, when we do attach it to the page, we'll be attaching it to the top half of the page so that you can drop it open within the journal. 
This is quite beautiful at the bottom anyway, so we wouldn't want to cover that up. However, before we put it into the journal, we're going to add pockets to the inside. I have quite a few scrap pieces. We shall place it on the paper. And for the second half, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to find a piece of scrap and glue it across. Decorating these pockets is really easy because we've already made some art tiles using the silicone glue. I'll be placing it roughly in the centre of the pocket. I shall put a bit of weight on each one as they dry. Here's our policy envelope with pockets and the tiles added for decoration. I don't have tags for these yet, we'll be doing those in another video. It may struggle to close, so what I've done is put some paper on some bits of card, cut one as a circle and put a punch through it, cut one as a lever, we'll use brad to put them together and then we'll glue it on here so that it becomes a closure for the envelope. I happen to have these De Monte style brads. All you have to do is thread these together and open them out, secure them. And I would suggest using silicon glue because of the metal. Using the lid as a guide to where the circle should go, press it into place. And as you can see, that can swing open and closed and hold that top part. Now that's fixed, I'm going to put it on the page. You may wish to make an extra little tuck spot by only gluing three sides. And my suggestion would be you, you could leave either the left hand side free or the bottom free. In my case, I'm going to glue it all down. I don't feel like I need an extra place to put things. I'm going to be doing lots of pockets. This page will not need decorating because you have this beautiful image on it. And actually the reverse I'm leaving blank because then when it's in the journal, you have a nice flat space to write upon if you want to write by not adding to either side of that page. The next page that I've put into the signature is this gem magazine page. I just want to liven up these white borders. I have a peacock napkin, want the top layer of that. I'm going to brush along the edges with some Mod Podge. Take my napkin and place it over the edges. Do a top coat. And I will go down this side as well. Before that dries completely, I'm going to go along the edge, tear bits of the napkin away, which will give the edge a more organic look. And that's done. Another quick layer over those bits that have been torn. Now that's dry, I'm going to take some white gesso and scrub it down and in to see how that does or doesn't help integrate. Looking at that, I don't think anything more needs to be done to that page. You can write on this sheet here. Inside, we started to make some internal pockets. I actually have a piece of paper that is an Indian print. I don't necessarily want to cover the whole thing with this. I don't have much paper from India. But I do like this idea of a jagged edge, so I am going to tear. The top of the pocket is around there. I'm going to, again, try and get a bit of a tear on that bit and glue that onto this page. I may even put some coffee stained paper underneath it. I found this very light copy paper that I have actually double printed to potentially be an actual page. However, I think if we pop that there and then that on top, that will make for quite a nice page on here. And just to keep that torn look going, tear down one edge. I would suggest when you put these sort of papers down, if you want people to be able to write on them, 
use a glue stick and if you want to you can also edge them with inks. I have torn strips of coordinating papers to go on these pockets. We could actually coordinate it even better by turning that round. Even though I've gone slightly over those pocket edges in places, there's still a pocket there. On the very final side, I'm going to return to the idea of the Mod Podge, this time using a much larger piece of the napkin. I have found a piece of old painted paper to help that fit as a pocket, I'm going to stain over this dried gesso with the vintage photo. This has been suitably stained into the background so that the printed paper as a pocket will fit. Put the pocket on, pinch it slightly so there's a bit more space behind to get a tag in there. We can look to put something on the pocket, maybe some collage of some sort. Could cut round that butterfly and fussy cut that out. I found a scrap of sari trim which I'm going to add to the pocket using the silicon glue just on these thicker bits. Then we have the Buddha picture. I have this scrap paper as well. Might do it like that so the butterfly comes out onto the plain piece. We have a pocket here and these two internal tuck spots. Same page, but you can write on it. And this drop down policy pocket, which has pockets inside it and some decorated papers. The next signature's quite pretty on the outside. The inside is a little dull. I think we can do some flips on this one. To create the flips, I'm doing top loading flips. I've cut some double-sided paper and folded over a small, I think that's half a centimetre, quarter or even an eighth of an inch, I'm not very good at inches, top. So be able to tuck that neatly away so nothing shows. Just going to take some corners off the fold over. I've also cut some new base papers and these will hide the join. So that will go on the page and that will be on the page too and the join will be hidden. Before we do any of that, I want to edge these papers, the colour Salvage Patina. So we're doing a bright journal. So although I will use some vintage photo and have, I also want to use some bright colours. I will be leaving them like that because then they can be used to write on. Everything has been edged. It's time to glue by running the glue along the folded area, burnishing it down with the paper that's going over the top. Cover it. Put a bit of extra glue on those edges. Up to the join. Those are done. They won't be next to each other. So if they're not equal, it's OK. When I checked, there's now a glue splodge on this front cover. Therefore, I'm going to now have to decorate the front of this page. I'm going to take one of the pieces of ephemera, edge it with the vintage photo. Hopefully get that over that glue spot and also not create more problems over this edge. I have a frame cut, but before we put that on, I would like to run a script down some of this area, slightly over the photo. I'm going to come that way, as though someone's writing a letter. We're putting the frame on at an angle. 
that's now decorated. The inside is decorated. We could look to do something on the back here. Could just place a decoration. You can write round that if you want to. So that one is now decorated and can be added to our decorated pages. I have started to film the next page. Therefore, this will follow up in the next video along with some other page designs. If you want to make sure you see this and a few other designs, don't forget to hit subscribe and do other lovely YouTubey things like, share, comment. Take a look in the description for Creator Club, the free Facebook group and free printables and more. And I will see you next time.